We're back at it out here on Hamildal in the Hunter Classic today, continuing to work on the holiday event missions for 2022, and it seems as though we're slowly morphing the closer and closer we get to Christmas, but there are still presents to file. We still have multiple objectives to do for the missions, and of course, there's always the chance to hunt the Rudolph reindeer, so we're going to head out armed with the holiday 8x57 and see how we can do. And we're starting off with a really nice reindeer. He's got one busted shovel up to 670 and our only option really is going to be the 8x57 we've got the snake bite but it's not equipped right now i mean we're right behind the lodge he actually called before the intro and i went ahead and hit the antler rattlers just to see what would happen fortunately he called out again is this a 600 they changed the scoring a bit or fixed the scoring i should say so it may be in the past i would have guessed it would be like a 570 so let's see, doubling them at 10 meters, 567, so actually about what I would have expected. And not a bad way to start at all. So I think the issue with the scoring used to be that sometimes the shovels weren't even counted or something like that. So I still don't know if there's any difference in like what makes 600. It might have only been ones that should have been over 600 that sometimes were affected because that scored the same as what I would have thought it would have prior to all that. But what I do want to do here first is go and work on the Lynx mission. I think that's the one that could take us the longest. So we're gonna work our way over to here. Got about an 800 meter walk until we're within a kilometer. If we don't find a Lynx in that 800 meters, we'll fast travel and see if we can get one at the stand. If just one of these guys could be a Rudolph, we'd be in good shape. That's a really solid frame. Not nearly as high a scoring range here. And honestly, that 95 to 125 kilo, I didn't never track that thinking it would score like 200. He should eclipse 400, and this time we have the snake bite set up and good to go. No need to spook everything in the area. No sign of any links, no calls or tracks just yet. But that could still change, we have a little bit further to go. And even still, a lot of times, I hadn't seen that female back there, but fast traveling to that tent has gotten a call from a lynx many times. And it isn't just any links. we'll need one to score over 8, which probably requires a male. And that could be a little bit more challenging. Actually, lung and spine 2 and 3, but a 427 score. Again, just one of that size being a Rudolph would be great. This may be the most shocking development of the entire hunt. We've got a female red fox down here, but its score estimate of 20 to 27 actually guarantees that it will complete the objective. We just need one score in over 20. Doesn't matter male or female. Pretty sure it doesn't matter the weapon, but we'll use the shotgun just to be safe. Buckshot from that angle probably is going to hit just about everything. I'll be honest, I, I don't know that I was really aware there were red fox down here in the south. I've seen them like in the southeast, but the further west you go, really you won't see that many. So quite lucky we had that here to begin with. Hopefully we didn't mess anything up as far as weapons or any of that goes, but I believe we should be good. Man. It's 21.5, that is enough to get us there. And that does that objective. I kind of thought that could be another one that would be a little bit annoying. You're essentially looking for a 10 kilo plus one, which sometimes that's the first thing you see, kind of like in this case. And sometimes just all the fox are just below that, but that's a good deal. Got that out of the way. We're down to bear, lynx, and presents, I believe. Well, that is not the sound we were hoping to hear when fast traveling to this spot. The Roadier mission, which we've already done anyway, requires a lightweight one, so not likely a buck would do it. But probably what we'll do then is just start to move our way up through here. All these stands were placed to try to get links. Just kind of moving a couple hundred meters forward, placing the call, and giving it five minutes or so. So we'll do that. We're in an area that we could run into Brown Bear and maybe get that mission done as well. But I was definitely hoping to just get a call and have an idea of what direction to watch in. If nothing else, at least we're getting a little somewhere with the collectibles. Still, it's going to be the gold present that I think could be the biggest problem. I think that might be the second to last non kind of like more rare collectible we got to find. This right here is a pretty good look at why it's so tough to track reindeer. They just move so quick and, you know, I have no idea where the links are in this hunt. We have not had any luck, but... That's a decent-ish reindeer again. Still no Rudolphs today. But we'll go ahead and take this long shot. Maybe it'll kind of stir stuff up. Give us a chance to run across a track or something. Because there is nothing going on. But 
three reindeer bulls, three fairly solid scoring ones so far. And I think when the in-game time is just set to one number and doesn't change, it can be tough to tell how long a hunt has been going on. We're in a multiplayer session, so four kills now, three have been reindeer and the fox that did the mission objective. It's been an hour and 15 minutes and a lot of it has been crouching around, setting up the e-collar and trying to get a links to come in. At this stage, even though we tried to do the lynx mission first, that may be all that's left for us in terms of animal objectives. If we can get a insta drop on this bear, that will complete that objective. All we need is a 22 plus scoring bear with 95 plus percent harvest value. In order to get that, we just want to have him down in less than probably half a second, ideally just immediately. Now, I do want to check the range on that because it's kind of out there. It's about 200 and while he's broadside and kind of feeding, I'd like to get that shot in there. Let's see if he'll stop again. That's going to be our opportunity. Got to keep that way far forward. Brown bear hitboxes are odd. You would think, typically you hear the idea of placing a shot in the crease behind the shoulder. If you do that on a brown bear in the Hunter Classic, you're hitting it in the stomach. And it's just because when they got their new models, black bear and brown bear both, used to have different models, now they have these models, which have much more realistic looking fur. When that happened, something changed with their hitboxes, maybe the old hitboxes stayed in place, but the new models took over, and the lungs basically end at the back of the leg. But at this stage, we could take this two different ways. We'll get our brown bear, and I'm quite confident that's going to work. There's nothing there that could have possibly prevented us from completing that objective. We could either start running around and look for a lynx track and try to track one down and in the process cover more ground for finding some of the present collectibles that we need to finish out the mission the other side would be kind of fast travel around maybe really take our time and, and wait for a lynx to call and while i like that idea because tracking lynx is just not fun or just not finding anything we've been doing that and it's not working a 206 meter hard shot is not a bad deal for that there is the chunky brown bear scoring 22 plus for that objective and that leaves us with only an 8 plus scoring links so maybe we'll try a little bit of both we have a fast travel available you really only see him kind of like on this side of the map so maybe we'll run our way up through here and then fast travel back down again i'm not sure what else to do but kind of gives us the opportunity to cover the ground and look for the collectibles we need well for once i can say i'm kind of glad a decent reindeer is not a rudolph only because all of his shuffles are busted and it's just kind of an odd like top heavy look but we'll swap back to the snake bite here just to try to prevent maybe spooking any links that might be around i'm not so sure there are any around because there's still no tracks no calls no like ambient sounds they make i just don't know where they are but for now, when reindeer show up, we might as well try to get them. Interestingly enough, we were calling these guys in, but he's just kind of stopping and feeding there. About 40 meters with the snake bite. I think we maybe dropped that into the heart. And there's the silence of the snake bite. And also the reindeer mechanic. You get to see that there. The moment that we took the male, the females are leaving. They just follow the male around. So when you have a situation like this and you're trying not to spook stuff that's one way to do it as for score though despite missing those shovels he was 410 to 550 i believe double lung actually did not hit the heart and a 478 score with no shovels that is fairly impressive wouldn't have been much different than in that first one that we shot that 567 but anyway we're gonna continue working our way down through here i mean they've got to be around here somewhere we've covered almost 8,000 meters so far so finally a lynx track and then the question becomes is it a male track and I'm gonna be honest the footprints don't look that big but I guess we're gonna try to follow it and see what happens maybe just maybe it could be a small male and big enough well there's one plus regardless and I mean you can see all these things hide maybe three four meters away and if you're not looking real close you could easily miss that but that's the silver present so i think the gold presents are a little more rare but that's one of the two really tough ones and 
speaking of stuff, I don't know where this Lynx went. There were three tracks, and then nothing. I could see it spooking. The last track was relatively fresh, and sometimes that can be it. They spook in a direction that's completely opposite where the tracks indicate, but we're doing loops and circles and still not finding anything. There is so much going on up here right now. I think there's three separate herds of reindeer. You can see a kind of decent-ish Rudolph out there. Up to 440, so far better than the first one we shot in the last video. Got Moose walking around, and I had a max weight estimate bull reindeer track, which none of the reindeer I've seen really kind of fit that bill. I've not seen anything. When we spot it going upwards of like 170, 180 kilo, which should be what we would expect. So we've got the bow. We can try to take the root off with that, and then try to navigate what is no doubt going to be a mess. I've never seen so many reindeer in one spot. In the meantime, we've got another similar size one to the left. That guy there I don't think I've spotted. That guy's up to 130, and we're going to get stepped on by one of these others before we can get the root off. I mean, I really don't want to spook everything, but I'm not so sure it matters. Like, I can't imagine shooting something with a bow and not just spooking them all. So I guess we better go for this. Try to not shoot him in the head. Just for trophy shot purposes, the lag that caused. I mean, there were, there were so many. It's gotten, there's been weird stuff in this server. It's gotten to the point of disappearing tracks. The last links that we were tracking, tracks started disappearing in front of me. Like, I watched them disappear. Got on another Lynx track, it didn't look that big. Those tracks, I think, started disappearing. I just don't know what's going on anymore, but at least we got this guy. Double lung and heart. Low weight again in a 389, almost upwards of 400. We'll tax him. And as opposed to take a quick trophy shot, I think what we're going to have to do is start a new session. Just the amount of disappearing tracks and stuff. And as much as I want to find that max weight bull, his tracks started disappearing too. I was able to stick with the herd. But none of his tracks were there, and this is over a span of like five, six hundred meters. But I think as trophy shots go, this is not too bad. Had to get the zoom just right so this time wasn't being cut off. But not too bad. Probably our best route off in a couple years. Just our luck with them typically has not been that good. Now, I did click off of the max weight mail track that I had. But I do, I guess we'll go back. Assuming that it hasn't disappeared. We'll try to click on that and confirm that, you know, we didn't end up spotting the right one with one of the, like, four bulls that were there. I just don't know that we'll be able to find it. I went ahead and got back on the track of that max weight reindeer, and we did not spot him anywhere, but there's just no more tracks. And they go in a straight line, so it's not as if he could have turned. Without spooking him, and we were able to follow the rest of the herd, that's not what happened. He would have gone this direction, and there's just nothing to go off of. I hate to just abandon it, but for all I know, it's probably left the map and gone elsewhere by now, so as much as I want to keep tracking it and try to figure this out, the important thing is the Lynx objective, and I think we're going to have to start a new session to get that. Man, Lynx really are just in a class of their own in this game. I mean, you take any other species, and just basically put the requirement of find a male on it. And I think most people could find one in 10, 20 minutes. This is the third attempt, and we finally have a male. It might be a good one. And there is no requirement other than kill the thing, fortunately. I'm so glad we don't have to use any kind of other weapon or anything like that. He actually, he didn't call at first, but there was the ambient sound that you can hear them make. And I set up the call, wait for more than 10 minutes, and he didn't come in. So I started slowly moving in this direction, got the call, and I did it as a male. And I knew we had to just wait it out. So fortunately, this should do the job regardless. Decent weight on that guy. Score of 10.1 and 126 CSS going into that. All of that. And finally, the last non-present objective is done. Now, I did say that was three attempts. The prior two were like 20 minutes before going to bed or something, just run on to Hemeldahl real quick and see if anything could happen. And I was able to get one other female Lynx, but, you know, the females just do not complete the requirement. So, what that leaves us with 
is needing to go back to the Trophy Lodge to place our new 2022 Rudolph, which of course now is part of a much more filled Event Animals Lodge with everything that went on this past Halloween. But our newest one is this guy up here, 389. I actually did not realize. Last year's was a 402, so we just eclipsed 400. I think the best one was this guy, a 465 in 2017. And just to go through them, 2018, 362, and 2020, 357. I believe they didn't do them in 2019. So we're already to our third best out of, I guess, five years worth. Not a bad deal. And like I said, we still have a full Rudolph focused hunt coming up on Christmas Day. So finally, after far more attempts than were planned, we have everything other than that present done and Hopefully, I mean, Christmas Day getting presents sounds like that's the type of thing that could maybe happen. Hopefully we can get it done on Christmas Day. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.